What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Martin Saucy back with another video. In this video, we're gonna be reacting to why are celebrities obsessed with young girls? All right, bro, Pete. So we've all heard about the Drake. Honestly, I was talking about this in my Diddy video. They, they stay, they, they've been accept, obsessed with young girls their whole life. They just got famous. That's all. Allegations, right? More importantly, the Drake being a pedo allegation. Which, been, by the way, nobody like really knows if that's true or not, but like, I ain't gonna lie. It's not looking good for Drizzy Drake right now. But after hearing those allegations from someone like Drake, it kind of made me think about the amount of allegations that these big time celebrities be had. Because, like, Pete, a lot of these celebrities be having like hella allegations about fucking with minors, bro. I don't know if when you become famous, you gotta sign a contract saying that you wanna fuck a minor. Because just earlier today, I also seen this video that involved Ruby Rose talking about her past experiences with. I feel like it's a Hollywood thing too. Two famous rappers. I'm gonna play it for y'all. Because well, there are rumors about you and various, various. famous men. I'm gonna just name. A, I'm gonna name a few. Okay, I'll tell you. And, which and you could react. Okay. Cam Newton. That one was weird. No, never. I've never even met him. Travis Scott. When I was younger. Oh wait, actually, I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't do this game. <laughs> I shouldn't. Do I shouldn't do this. She game. was just in the streets. I don't even think, but still, like Trent, bro. I don't know though, bro, because you gotta think. I don't know what I was about to say. <laughs> I just got a few more days. Should I do? This oh wait, let me see. Cause I'm gonna take uh, okay, okay. ones that are not. Okay, like younger. I could have said something like, "Oh, maybe." The but it's like, it's no real explanation for, for this, bro. Yeah, when I was younger. Okay. Shout out to Travis Scott. One, of the, one of the monsters Boats. out there in music right now. Definitely. Soldier Boy. Fudge, no. <laughs> 21 Savage. When I was younger. Oh, wait. How many more are left? No, that's it. Okay, cool. Good. All right. I wasn't bad. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but she I don't think she lit above 18 when she was talking about the young boy. And if you look at the comments under this post, they absolutely agree with me. Like, there's no way that Travis and 20 you on was fucking with Ruby above the age of 18. And like, I even did a little bit of my own research. And I found a post showing that back in 2014, when Ruby Rose was only 17, Travis Scott was liking her pictures. And I'm gonna just say this now, I'm not accusing Travis or 21 of- uh, What? Doing anything. I did not make the video, and I'm not making these allegations. But all I'm finna say is- I mean- Some girls don't show their age. But still, bruh. I know when a girl is old enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can look at a girl and tell her if she's old enough, bruh. She's older or younger. I can tell just by looking. So I don't know, bro. These niggas is weird. <laughs> I'm just all I can say. But it feels like a lot of these celebrities are just coming out as weirdos nowadays, bro. Like as time goes on, we're just finding like, out even weirder and weirder things me. about these celebrities a that honestly are just flat out disgusting. I don't like that like shit. we literally just had this P Diddy thing, where apparently a lot of people came out talking about how P Diddy is a fucking weirdo. Like if you read some of the court cases or just watch Patrick CC's video and just see all of the things that Diddy has done or just being accused of, it will. Truly just and I don't know. I don't mom. know if it's just me, but I just don't like girls that's younger than me, bro. Look, bro, I'm 18. Every girl I ever dated in my life was older than me, bro. Ever. Every girl I ever dated to this day has been older than me. Seriously. I don't know what it is. Like if I talk to a girl younger than me, I'm just I just get ugh. It's just ugh. You're a kid. Right. Not that he's just dead. You can't forget <laughs> about Meek Mill, Usher, which a lot of y'all just kind of let slide, even though he was in the fucking court documents alongside Meek Mill. And there's just a lot of That's just. Why I don't weird see how y'all can do it. Y'all niggas is sick. But the main thing I've been wondering through all of this is just why do these celebrities just like little girls? Bro? Like, not even with that Drake and Millie Bobby Brown shit, Damn. or that 17 year old that he kissed on stage shit, Damn. or the 16 year old that he was hugging and booed up with shit. Damn. I'm talking about just in general. And also, if you're curious about what that Millie Bobby Brown situation is, I'm gonna just play a video for y'all real quick. What about your relationship with Drake? Tell me about your friendship. How uh, did this all come about? I love him. I met him in Australia, and um, he's honestly so fantastic and a great friend and a great, uh, great. But model, honestly, you know, I feel like it's cool. I feel like it's, it's cool if if 
If it just, I don't know, bro. Cause like with the ages and stuff like that, I feel like it's cool if, it, if you're a legal adult. I guess if you're a legal adult, you know what I'm saying. I don't know, bro. It's real, like it depends. Like it's it it it's, it's, it depends, bro. Everybody got different preferences for what they like, and you know, so it depends. You know, like majority of relationships don't age don't necessarily matter, but like these older men are talking to teenagers, bro. So that's disgusting, minors. You know, that's nasty. That's that's a no no. That's not cool. I'm gonna wait till she turns 18 to get her. What the fuck? We just texted each other the other <laughs> day. He's like, I miss you so much. I was like, I miss you more. He's coming to Atlanta, so I'm definitely gonna go and see him. I'm so excited. Yeah. What advice does he give you? Like, what does he say? Uh, about boys. He helps me. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's great. He's wonderful. I love What's him. What's his advice with boys? You know. I'm that stays in the text messages. <laughs> Come on, bro. Like, no grown man should ever be texting a 14-year-old girl talking about, Oh my god, I miss you. Oh, let's talk about boys together. Oh, let me get you some boy advice so I can fuck you later. Like, that's literally the definition of grown man, bro. Like, look, bro, bro, we can't just go by that. And the crazy part about that nigga Drake is that that's not even the only situation he's had with minors publicly. A lot of y'all seem to forget this, but he dated an 18-year-old model as soon soon as she turned 18. And the model that he dated said that she knew Drake ever since she was 16 and that they were even close. And also not to mention that stage incident he had a couple years ago where he brought this 17 year old girl up on stage, which I will say he didn't know she was 17 at the time until she told him he was 17. But instead of him politely leading her back into the crowd where she belongs, he ended up doing this. Ain't that the same shit that your local super senior was saying in your fucking high school? All right, well, listen, 17. I had fun. I don't know if I should feel guilty or not, but I had fun. I like the way you breastfeel against my chest and stuff. Yes, he keeps on going with a 17-year-old girl, talking about how fun she is, and even touching her. But oh no, it gets worse. I don't know if I should feel guilty or not, but I had fun. I like the way you breastfeel against my chest and stuff. Like lock him up, bro. Like, bro, what, what, what are we waiting? For? And honestly, we also. Oh my god! Drake, I'm not giving you a pass because you a celebrity, nigga. You weird. Try to take a call that is probably a minor. <laughs> we gotta talk about this man's friends and people around him in general. Try to take a call that is probably Drake's a minor. Friend, one of the most famous people in the world, who's also probably, most definitely, funding your life, and just let him do this foolishness. I bet. Like I bet, he felt, I bet he felt like that guy. He felt like that guy. He felt like that guy when he did that. She walked off stage. This man felt like that guy, bro. OVO head cool. It's such and a corn, bro. You just hear him bro. talking about how he's texting this 14-year-old Millie Bobby Brown and how he's risen her up. Like, how could you just not say anything at all, bro? Like, Buddy was probably over here talking about how he's going to marry her in four years and you're just sitting there saying, yeah, you right, bro. She the one. Like, what are we talking about, bro? Like, this isn't a new thing. I feel like it's just been like this for a long time, but people are just not talking about it. Like, for instance, R. Kelly. Would y'all suck a dick to save y'all Bob's life? Yeah, I actually said that but if you're watching this then i'm already dead but if you want to see me say why am i thinking about an answer i don't know bro more wall shit tap into the streams see i stream every monday was that go for how R. Kelly is just now getting locked up, man. We've known that he's been a fucking weirdo pedo for fucking decades, nigga. Like, do y'all not remember when he was dating Aaliyah back when she was 15? Actually, scratch that. I made a mistake. They got fucking married while she was 15. And he also got her pregnant. And I promise you to God, nobody cared back then. That's crazy. And then we also can't forget about all these producer 
Christmas. That should be getting caught with these little girls like Harvey Weinstein, Dan Snyder. Hell, even the nigga who made Space Jam got caught with a 15-year-old, nigga. And I also want to bring up Michael Jackson, but I ain't trying to get crucified for touching King Mike, even though he definitely would have wanted to touch me. Like, why do all these older celebrities just love younger women, bro? It doesn't make sense. But truly and honestly, I just can't understand how you could be a celebrity at the top of the world. You're famous wherever you go. You can get any female, any woman that you could possibly want. And you go no, after no, a fix. Any girl you want. No, I want the 14 year old. Like what the fuck? How does that? How does that make sense? Wait, what if the answer to that question was simpler than anybody thinks? Let me break it down. See, me and my boy Zay was talking about this topic the other day. And we okay. came up with an interesting conclusion of why we think this is. See, the reason why I feel like these celebrities are going after these younger girls is because simply they're tired of older women. These famous people can get whoever they want, when they want, exactly how they want. Shit, they can piss in the girl's mouth if they wanted to. The girl would swallow that shit with a smile on her face. And these niggas are basically damn near gods to regular people sometimes. But eventually, after you get treated like a god for so long, you get bored of it. I mean, it's just human nature. You just get bored of shit after we've had it for so long. You start looking for new things to excite you. You start getting into weirder things, which explains why niggas have foot fetishes and poop fetishes and scat and all that bullshit. And eventually they get to the point where they had to resort to insane or crazy things to get their nuts off. Orgies, throw up, pissing, golden showers, all that weird ass shit that you could only hey, some fuck demons. On. This is the this is what you call falling into the trap of lust. You can't never get enough. You can't never stop. It's only gonna get worse. It's a cycle. You never going like you never. It's never gonna be enough. That's why you gotta get right with God, bro. On on Pornhub, but Real eventually talk. they get bored of that shit too. So they start resorting to other things, Crazy, other unconventional bro. Crazy things. Work. You may call it. This is why I feel like Epstein Island was such a big hit, and why so many celebrities loved it that shit. I mean, once you have everything you could possibly want with regular people, why not do something edgy and exciting? That's sick even saying that shit, bro. I don't know what's the yeah, fuck's it's crazy, wrong with bro. people. But just think about it. If you look at that island's flight logs and you see all the celebrities on that list, and it's even people you would never expect. But one common trend that I've seen with a lot of those people is that a lot of them are notorious for being horny as shit. And I'm not for the name names because you feel me, I ain't trying to get, <laughs> but if you've seen the list and you've seen the names, you know what I'm talking about. But the same process I just described is exactly what happens with men and porn. When men jerk off too much, they eventually get bored to regular porn and start resorting to crazy things. It goes down the line from regular porn to fucking anal to fucking scat to hentai, all the way to the point where they're searching on the dark web just to find some CP3 for them to get off to. It's a sad reality, it's a sad downfall, and it's a sad decline. But that's the result of having a crazy, lustful culture. And I, I, I don't really think that bro. if you see my thumbnails, I'm not gonna lie. But that's the reason why I feel like these celebrities are like that. Now, it could also be a power thing. I mean, some of these celebrities could just find these younger girls attractive. And just because they're powerful, they're celebrities, they got money, they think they can just get away with just succumbing to their desires. Which I feel like is the case for a lot of these rappers that end up doing this shit. But in my opinion, it's either or. And sometimes make probably me sick, bro. Both. You know what I mean? They're kind of right because I haven't seen anybody from that Epstein Island list get arrested. We all know damn sure and well that Drake's not going to get arrested. And any other celebrity that you think is a pedo, they're not going to get arrested either. It's all a big game. It's politicians that's on that list. And they're going to stick up for their own. They ain't going to let nobody get arrested. So there's nothing we can really do about this shit. But talk about it. Spread awareness about it. And just know what's going on. So besides that, in conclusion, yeah, watch you look up. Yeah, bro. These niggas be weird, bro. Too, bro. Because a lot of these celebrities are turning out to be weird. And you don't want to be looking up to, nor what your that's kids are you looking That's why you got to get strapped, up. bro. <laughs> for real, bro. Get strapped, bro. On my 19th birthday, I'm getting strapped up.
to somebody that would probably be attracted to them. Love y'all boys. Follow all the socials. Hey, good video though, bro. Good video, bro. You spent a lot of uh, a lot of information that y'all need to know. You know, watch 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 y'all siblings. You know what I'm saying? Watch who who they talking to on the phone. Watch all that. Keep your people safe. Um, let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Peace out.